welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be here again today. I have a haul video. I can't wait. Today is Halloween, so happy Halloween to everyone out there in YouTube land. I did a quick trip to Goodwill today. Quick meaning like three hours. Um, yeah, but I did a trip. I got quite a few good items actually. I wanted to do a quick haul video to show you what I found and what I'm able to flip for profit. Um, I'm gonna break this into two videos. I have my first Goodwill store right here, and then I have a second Goodwill store that I hit for like an hour. <laughs> I have the bags set to the side. I'm gonna do a second video so that it doesn't get too crazy long, um, too confusing of what I paid, and yeah. So um, the first Goodwill store that I went to, I spent $140 even, fun. <laughs> Uh, total purchased items was 39 so it came out to almost um, I haven't even done the math but yeah you've done the math um, yeah so 40 items for $140 about three to four dollars an item give or take some items were more some items were less but it averages out pretty evenly um, I'm just gonna start in and get going because I don't want to take up y'all's precious time like I usually do in my videos. I'm going to try and kind of give you an idea of what I spent on each item as I go through. Um, my Goodwill stores, they price each category same price. So all jeans are $7.49, all dresses are $7.49, all shirts are $5.49, short sleeves are $4.49. You get the idea. Um, today's color was purple. So every item with a purple tag was half off. So I'll try to point out as I go um, which ones are half off and which ones I paid full price for. <sighs> now I'm gonna get to it. Okay, this is a rum reggae. Um, <clears throat> probably can't see the tag very well, but you get the idea. It's a rum reggae dress. It's just a crazy little beach print dress. Um, dresses are usually $7.49. This is purple. Thank goodness, so it was half off. So it was three, what was it? Three, uh, 75, 3.74. Um, I looked up comps while I was in the store. This sells for about 20-ish dollars, sometimes more, sometimes less. They're kind of all over the place on the comps, but about $20 is reasonable. I only paid 3.74 for it, so I'm okay with that. This is a Matilda Jane dress. I don't find this brand very often, and I think it's kind of going out of style a little bit, but it's just a women's pretty little green with a asymmetrical blue little lacy hem. So I really like it. It's really, really pretty. It was gray, so I paid $7.49 for it. Ugh, I did not want to pay $7.49 for any dresses, but this is a good brand. I know the brand well, and it just has something different, quirky, and funky about it. And it's still pretty fall color, so one can still wear it with leggings and boots and a jacket over it, and it'd be fine for the fall. And this one is Redhead. This seat is just gonna fly everywhere, guys. Um, redhead, I don't usually buy the brand for men's shirts, but this is a cute little uh, patriotic American flags and tanks and boats and Navy and all that good stuff. Um, so just a little patriotic men's shirt. I did look it up while I was in the store. Uh, the tag size is cut out. I think it's a large though. It's either medium or large. I'm pretty sure it's a large. Um, I looked it up in the store. There was one that just sold a couple of weeks ago for $19.99. I paid $4.49 for this. So I grabbed it. It's patriotic. I mean, you really can't go wrong with um, American stuff. What do we have? Um, Evo Voro. <laughs> E-V-O-V-O-R-R-O. -R -R just a cute little black and yellow gold kind of dress. Um, like a very mini slinky dress. I don't know how to describe it. It's a size small. It's the best way to describe it. It's tiny. Uh, this is blue. So I paid $7.49 for it, but the comps looked easily in the $20 to $30 range. So I went ahead and grabbed it. The quality felt good. The comps were decent. I was in a good mood. <laughs> so I grabbed it. Um, this one is purple tag. Thank goodness. Um, I try not to spend full price on dresses, but this one I went ahead and grabbed, it is an ARK and Co, A-R-K and C-O. Um, it was half off and it's quirky enough that I grabbed it. It's like a crazy little purple and blue with ruffles, but the back is open, you can see that. And then it has pockets also on the hips. 
You can see the ruffles on the pockets. Um, I paid $374 for it. The comps were $15 to $20 sometimes, but I paid $374. It's just funky enough that it might do okay. I'm going to put art to wear and boho. I don't know what kind of phrases I'm going to use on that one, but we'll find out. Um, little girl's dress, cute as can be. It is a, what are you? Sugar and honey. Just a cute little hot pink, hot green baby dress. I paid a dollar for it. Um, the comps actually look decent. It looks like, I didn't see anything that was similar, but all the sold or all the completed listings were sold. So it sells regularly, 15 to $20. If I get 10 to 15, I'll be happy. We'll see. I have a hair that's driving me crazy also. Excuse me. Um, this is Edme and Isilt. I think it's an anthropology <laughs> dress. Um, it's just a little thin, it's paper thin, just plaid, cute little dress. It's tiny. It's a size uh, zero. <laughs> um, so teeny, 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 tiny. I paid $3 for it, $3.74. And it looks like they sold, all the completed listings were sold. And they sold in the $25, 20 inch dollar range. This is another little girl's dress. It is Chickadee. Chick a D. Huh. Um, it has the little Alabama logo on the corner here. I need to get this thing listed ASAP because it is football season. Um, super, super cute. It is kids. I paid uh, green children's dresses. I paid $3 for that one. Um, this is a, did she charge me as a coat? Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> um, a little pink get this belt a little more open but um it's a little pink trench coat it's actually really cute it has the little cap sleeves if you can see that kind of from there it's just a like a muted hot pink trench coat i really liked it um this was three dollars because it was in the kids section but i think it's adults it's a small there's no way this is a kid's small and i got charged three dollars for it so yeah, <laughs> it's cute though. Um, these I'm actually excited about. I think they're vintage. They are just little hot pants. Hot pink, hot green, elastic waist. Uh, the elastic is a little bit loose, but the tag is just an old little paper tag. RN39175, 100% acrylic style, 3302P, size 12. So I mean, I don't know. I can't figure out if they're vintage or it's just a piece of a costume. Don't know. I paid about $2 for them. Find out eventually. I'll look up the RN number and see what it says. Okay, we've got the Bailey Boys. Cute, cute, cute little dress. Little bunny rabbits on it. Perfect for Easter. And I went ahead and grabbed it because it looks like, again, the brand, all the uh, completed listings were sold completed listings. And I paid a dollar for it. And I hopefully will get about $15 to $20. Not 100% sure, but it's realistic. Indigo Moon. I have a dress that I have currently have listed of this brand. Um, just the art to wear boho lagging look. You get the idea. Golds, browns, good for the season. It's a size 1X. Um, I paid, it's purple. Thank God. <laughs> I would have paid $7.49 for it, but it was half off. So I paid $3.74. And it looks like, Again, the comps were pretty much all sold and they sold easily for $25 and $30. So yeah, what do we have? Uh, shrimp and Grits Kids, just a cute little seahorse blouse. It's just a little see-through thing. <laughs> um, it was $5.49, so it's long sleeves, but the comps, again, every single comp was sold and they all sold in the $20 range. So seahorses, it's a little out of season, but It'll be in season soon enough. And I grabbed it. Autobahn Classic. Um, comps were kind of hard to grasp while I was in the store. Autobahn Sport is on the breast. Just a little funky avocado green vest. It's men's. Um, it is was it purple. She said, you got a great deal on that. Um, there is no, oh, blue. Okay, so I paid full price. Vest, vest, vest. Eh, 
I think I paid $5.49 for it though. I'm pretty sure our vests are $5.49. And comps, they looked weird, but it's a nice quality. And there were some that had sold on there. I think they're like $20. We'll find out. <laughs> but hopefully I get $20 to $25 on it. That would make it worth my while, basically. We have Corey B. New York Woman. It's just a crazy little retro, like a under blazer kind of blouse. It's a 2X, 3X, 3X. As everybody knows, plus size pretty much does pretty well. And the print is just crazy enough that it just might work. <laughs> um, I paid $4.29 for this top. And comps looked pretty consistently in the $20 range. And being plus size also helps. Um, pretty much when I was going through the women's tops, it was find the brightest and craziest color. I was in a colorful mood today, so I just tried to skim quickly, but I went for anything that had a crazy color, looked it up, and this is what I ended up with. Um, scarf. Don't usually grab for scarves, but as soon as I just kind of skim the wall, just anything, and <laughs> this tag stood right out to me, Eileen Fisher. I know Eileen Fisher sells well in pretty much everything. It's a red ruffly scarf. It'll be perfect at Christmas. It's slinky and stretchy. I looked up Eileen Fisher red scarf and they sold consistently for $20, $30, and $40. Who knew? <laughs> I paid $1.99 for it. So yeah, there we go, Eileen Fisher scarf. Um, what do we have? We have a another blouse. Who are you? Fig and flower, uh, petite large. Just a pretty little green sheer print top. Um, I paid $4.29 for it and the comps, the comps pretty much were consistently sold comps and they sold in the $20 to $25 plus range. Again, going with the crazy prints here, um, rock flower paper, explore a world of color made in India. <laughs> so just a pretty little green blouse and, um, I paid $4.29 also. Comps, again, were 25 plus range and they all sold. So I was happy, I grabbed it. Uh, this is Francesca's, it is Blue Rain. I don't always get this brand, but it was brand new tags. Brand new tags, it retail for $48. It's a size small, it's kind of in season. It's just a little black peasant type top with embroidered floral sleeves. If you can tell that from the video there. Uh, brand new tags, it retail for 50. Comps, I paid $4.29. Comps, eh, 20 bucks, give or take. But new with tags might help me in the Christmas season if I label it new with tags and put, um, maybe put the uh, Francesca's, you know, I'm talking about model picture, the stock photo. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe just add that with my listing. Maybe it'll sell better. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, this is Etoile, E-T-O-I-L-E. -E. Apparently there is a brand that calls themselves so-and-so, so-and-so Etoile. That name isn't on this top, but hopefully with any luck, if it's not that brand, I'll get bunched in with that brand if they're searching for so-and-so, so-and-so Etoile. Mine might get bumped in like fewer words search or what have you. Um, it's a crazy little, one of those stretchy, crinkly tight tops. Not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> it's a little busy. I paid four dollars and twenty nine cents for it. Uh, no purple. Ha, huh, good. I only paid like two nineteen, two eighteen, whatever for it. So about two dollars. Um, the brand that is a similar name was selling for like thirty, forty, fifty dollars all day long. So I grabbed it. It's a little colorful, but I'll try. Can't hurt. Uh, for two dollars and some odd cents investment you know, it'll sell. Uh, Parsley and Sage, I think it's an anthropology brand. Um, I looked up Parsley and Sage purple top on eBay while I was in the store and these, this exact top pulled up in multiple um, listings and it sold consistently 20 to $30. Someone that ballpark and I paid $4.29 for it. So hopefully it's pretty much right on season for it. 20 to 25, that would be ideal. Banana Republic, I don't grab everything Banana Republic, but this is cute. Orange is a nice folly kind of color. I need to get it listed like now. Just a cute little blazer. 
It's got, you can know, like see the stitching like it's canvas almost, but it's not. Just pretty blazer. It was purple. That's really one of the other main reasons I picked it up. Uh, so it was $374. Maybe I'll get $20, $25-ish for it. Hopefully more, but not likely. <laughs> um, this, this dress, okay. I searched and I searched for a tag for this stupid thing. I could just feel the quality and there's no tag in sight. It's gone. Some hussy cut it out for comfort or whatever her excuse was. Um, it's nowhere to be found, but it's just a pretty little purple kind of a wrap dress. The back, you see all these straps <laughs> going along everywhere. Um, I couldn't find a brand tag, but the brand Issa is all across the fabric, I-S-S-A. It's actually printed into the fabric, kind of like Vera Bradley does. They print it into it. Thank goodness, because I wouldn't have found it otherwise. Um, I don't even know what size this dress is. It just says 100% silk. It has the RN number, so I'll double check the RN number to make sure that's the brand. But I pulled up the brand Issa on eBay, and they sold consistently for like $40 or $50 all day long. <laughs> I paid full price, $7.49 for this dress because I saw that Issa, the brand, sells really, really well. It's silk. It's nice quality. It'll wrap around good on a mannequin when you wrap all the extra little strappies. <laughs> Not sure how it'll go on, but maybe I'll find a stock photo somewhere and they'll tell me how to do the little wrap sash. Don't know. Um, what do we have here? We have a label somewhere. Okay, <laughs> Lucky Brand. I don't always buy Lucky Brand, but it's purple, so it's only three dollars in nose, a dollar fifty in kids. Just a red, white, and blue little. It's kind of bouncy. Um, it'll look cute with leggings and boots. I don't know. It was cheap. Their dresses sell semi consistently in the fifteen to twenty dollar range on a good day. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll try it. Cabby. It's an older tag, but it's a cute little print shirt. It's um, birds. Yeah, that's the word. And while I was checking out, the checking out girl said, oh, a girl just checked out like an hour ago with the long sleeve version of this. It looks just like this. Really? Why are you even gonna tell me that? <laughs> so, ugh, whatever. Um, I paid $4.25 for it. No, I didn't, it's sleeveless. I paid $2.24 for it, $2.29. Something like that. <laughs> just a cute little bird print cabbie top. It'll work. It'll sell about maybe $15. Um, do re D O O R I do re do re. I don't know. It's a Macy's brand it says exclusively at Macy's just a crazy little print dress. The back is like this pleather feeling. Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah. It's this crazy little pleather feeling, just a little shift sheath. I always get those confused dress. It's an extra small, so it might be hard to sell. Um, it was, green tag so it was original it was $7.49 I looked up comps but they sold consistently in the $30 to $50 range don't know if that one will because it's smaller but I can try it's a really cute color for fall so again paired with like leggings and boots I think it'll work out I hope <laughs> so I did pay full price for a few of the dresses so $7.49 was my most expensive cost item and I got like five or six full price dresses but dresses sell easily for me. I can toss them on a mannequin, do some measurements, and call it good. Jeans, it's hard to sell. Tops, everyone has a million tops. So dresses, I usually do pretty okay with them. And everything I got had some crazy colors. It's kind of my theme for the day. But yeah, oh well. So I found some uh, vintage ornaments. Just the classic little um, uh, foam balls with like the threaded... Uh, yarn kind of across it you get the idea um just a full bag of there's a full bag of red a few white ones crazy little uh pepper ornament there some of the bell shaped ones um uh, not really sure what's going on with the yeah you can't see it from there but yeah so three bags of ornaments one was 99 cents one was 99 cents and this one was a dollar 99 and pins and stuff are falling all out of this bag i'm just hoping that i Catch them all so I don't step on them later. Okay. Oh, this one I'm keeping. My little sister loves Wizard of Oz. This is a cute little Wizard of Oz tote bag. And it's name branded. It's Wizard of Oz and also blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a nice little tote bag. I checked eBay for comps and there weren't any. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. 
there wasn't a single Wizard of Oz yellow tote on eBay at all. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but I will. I am in a, well, a thousand eBay <laughs> thrifters groups, and um, I usually see these little needle points come across. People are like, look what I sold, look what I found, blah, 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 blah. I know needle pointers pay good money for little needle pointing kits. And these are all vintage Jiffy needle point <laughs> eggplant and peppers. Some of these are dated. Um, I found five of them. 1981 for this one with the oranges in it. It's $1.99, $1.99, $1.99. It's a little lion in the zoo thing. Poppies, this is $1.99. And eggplants and peppers was 99 cents. So there's two eggplants and peppers and the poppies, the lion, and the oranges. Um, I put a picture on the Facebook page and said, I don't know anything about being a point. Is this a good buy? And I had like five comments within minutes that said, yes, buy them. Yes, 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 yes. I had some similar that I listed and they sold the same day. So I grabbed them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to get for them. Couldn't tell you, but we will find out. This is for me. It's Grinch and Max. Christmas is coming. And yeah, I need a Grinch and Max plush. So that's mine. I paid a dollar for him. Another the one that is mine is a Disney World mug. It's Gaston and LeFou from Gaston's Tavern. The LeFou brew comes in it. Um, I have one of these. But I figure I'll have two. It's a matching set. It's 99 cents. The sucker is like $10 in the Disney parks. So a little matching set and a little Gaston. Um, I'm silly, but it works. And then last but not least is <laughs> this. Um, it's a bowl and seven bowls on the inside. It's a salad bowl and then the little salad bowls. It's called Weave Wood, Weave Wood Ink. Yeah, it's kind of hard to read the bottom of it, but um, I Googled, no, I eBay looked up uh, Weave Wood Ink and comps consistently like this bowl sells i paid 6.99 for eight piece set seven bowls and one salad bowl the salad bowl consistently sold for like 20 or 30 dollars like all day long it is vintage they're cute little bowls i mean it's a bowl <laughs> i don't know what else to say about it but um i paid seven dollars for it and i'm hoping that i get maybe 20 to 30 bucks for it at least the bowl is easily 20 to 30 dollars i may do it with four bowls and then sell the other three on the side or just sell it incomplete with seven bowls. I'm not sure yet. Tell me in the comments how you think I should sell it as a set, divide it up. What's the deal? Do you know anything about them? <laughs> Cause some bowls are lighter colored than others. Um, if I can get some of this, I don't want to take the tape off. Never mind. But yeah, you can just see it's such a little like patchwork wooden bowls. It's a bowl. Yeah. So that is my haul. Uh, a couple things I'm keeping for myself, a few things, I paid a lot for a few things I paid very little for. So it works. Again, 39 items purchased. Two of them are mine at $140 even. It came up to um, $139.76. And she said, do you want to round it up to $140? And I said, yes. So that's where the even numbers came from. I'm not that like good that I can just finish out with even numbers. No. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's my eBay transaction for Halloween day. The store surprisingly were not that busy to be Halloween day. A few people came in trying to finish off their costumes. Last minute kind of people, shame on them. But yeah, that's my trip. Hope you guys enjoyed my haul. My legs falling asleep, so sorry I'm kind of sitting here funky. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the haul and comment below in the uh, comment section if I'm off base on any of these, if I'm right on time, what's the deal with the bowl set? What do you think I should do? And yeah, hope you guys have a fabulous day. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm gonna do another haul here in just a second. Bye guys.